Okay. <clears throat> and now I have uh, connected the, the new uh, motor that will be part of the do-it-yourself solo. And I hooked it up to this new uh, motor driver. And it's an IDT4 motor driver and it should be able to handle 50 amps. And I'm not sure if it can do that, but the, it looks good. And I have a 12 volt battery that I received uh, in the same package as I got the motor. And the motor is actually from a, a drill that I just uh, took apart. And uh, the drill was cheaper than uh, the cells that we usually use in the Inmo build. And then I also got the battery in that price. And it's quite beefy compared to the motor you have in an ordinary server. So I hooked it up to the Arduino and the motor uses two analog pins. And since I use an Arduino, I use pin, uh, I think it's uh, 10 and uh, 11 because they need to be uh, PVM enabled. So they need to be able to do analog output. And then I also uh, sorry, yeah, analog output, and then I have one pin that is connected to ground, and uh, and then I have one that is connected to a potentiometer. So same setup as I showed in the uh, last video, and now I just turn the knob. I can regulate it by turning the knob and I can also regulate it using the slider here. And uh, those two combined uh, makes it possible to use it as a servo because the idea is that the motor will turn uh, the potentiometer so it will try to figure out where to to stop and if you listen now you can hear that it's uh, increasing in speed very slowly and it's the PID controller that does that and uh, there is a small difference between where the potentiometer says that uh, the, it should be and where the slider here says that it should be. So there is a small, small error, and the PID has an integral part, and that's the part that currently speeds up the motor because it tries harder and harder and harder to get to the correct position. And if I turn this knob a little, the error will be greater. And if I turn it even a little more, the error will be even larger and it will accumulate this error. And for a real server, this integral part is probably too small. And we have a proportional value. And that's what reacts very fast now when I turn the knob it will react fast. But the integral part is the one that changes over time. 